Hi guys, welcome to Daily Theology. Uh, this story is splashed all over the internet. The video footage was, was originally sent directly to Fox News, and it shows Nancy Pelosi, who has been a proponent of masks and claiming people that don't wear masks are uh, contaminating things and, and all sorts of uh, vitriolic statements. And here she is uh, on Monday at 3.08 p.m. in a salon, which she had shuttered across her city, uh, getting a special spa day or whatever this is actually called. And so uh, I was going to leave this alone because I thought, well, there's enough people calling attention to this. But uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because of Pelosi's response. She didn't admit that what she did was wrong. Instead, she accused the salon owner uh, have, as having set her up. And she's using profanities and calling her every name in the book. And so what I want to draw attention to is not whether or not she was set up. I think the, the probably reality of this is she probably wasn't set up. And even if she was, she knows better. She's the one making these laws. She's the one enforcing these laws. She's the one uh, inciting anger towards people that don't follow these protocols. So she knows the law and it's hypocritical and it shows where her heart is. But the reason I wanted to do this short video is because Look at her response. Does she take ownership? Does she say she's sorry? Does she apologize to the public for having misused and misabused their trust or abused their trust? No, instead she results to anger and hating the person who owns the business who she is prohibiting from having uh, open right now. So instead of owning up to it, she screams and yells and swears at the lady who owns this business as if it were some sort of a sting operation. Well, if it was, you got caught and you need to own up to the fact that you are a hypocrite and an evil leader. And this is what we can expect if we want to elect Democrats into office. And Nancy Pelosi is a, I pray that God saves her. I pray that God changes her heart, but she is a proponent of abortion. Um, she's, she's kind of the matriarch of evil in uh, in the current political system. Now, our hope ultimately is in Christ. It's not in the leaders. Uh, ultimately, I think a lot of the leaders we're seeing right now are a judgment from God uh, because the nation has, has turned from God uh, for many, many years, many decades. And uh, people get saved one person at a time. So what we've got to do as the church is not uh, use this as an opportunity to throw mud in the face of a political party, though I think they're doing quite a nice job, them, job themselves. Uh, I think it's our opportunity to proclaim the gospel, to realize that the true issue, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, is the heart. God must regenerate and change the heart of man because we have all violated the law of God. So uh, when you hear about this story, uh, consider that she is in need of the gospel. Please remember to pray for Nancy Pelosi and pray for other leaders as well. And then examine yourself in light of the Bible and uh, determine if you are right with God. According to Second Peter 1, make your calling and election sure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hammer that like button, like the 95 Theses, and I will see you tomorrow. God bless.